All right, what's good, YouTube? This is Boxer Wave. I just want to do a quick recap of the Blair, the Flair, Cobbs fight against Maurice Hooker. All right, um, these guys are both coming off their losses, and they went, they fought tonight under the uh, Mickinson Urge Ortiz Jr. fight. All right, so just a quick recap. I'm definitely gonna go live tomorrow and speak more about this fight. First off, I did the uh, video today or yesterday. Just basically give you a weekend prediction. And my final prediction was Maurice Hooker was going to find a way to pull off the win. I uh, was definitely a little nervous about him coming in overweight. You guys seen the video. There was a few of you guys that actually picked Blair Cobbs, the less experienced Blair Cobbs, to win this fight. And you guys were on point. So don't think I didn't forget. He definitely make me made me eat crow. All right, because I thought that regardless of Hooker being overweight, of him, Hooker becoming, you know, being uh, uh, out of the ring for a while and and being rusty and coming off of an injury, I still found a way. The more experienced Hooker was going to win the fight against the less experienced Blair Cobbs, who's coming off his first knockout loss. So they're both coming off of something, some kind of defeat, and um, it was a very good fight. You know, it was actually. The fight that I was looking forward to the most, because even though I like Virgil Ortiz and I was looking forward to him and fighting him McKinson, I knew that Ortiz was going to probably dominate McKinson based on the styles. But this fight here was more of a 50-50 fight to me, and it delivered, all right? Um, Blair Cobbs was able to continuously drop Maurice Hooker in the earlier rounds and then went on to outbox Hooker for the majority of the fight. I can't see anyone giving uh, Hooker more than one or two rounds, maybe, you know, two rounds tops. Hooker is just out of his game. He just got outboxed, all right? He got everything, everything. I think Blair, when I'm looking at this fight, Blair won in every single way that he could. The fight went exactly his way. I was listening to his post-fight interview, and he was saying he had a new team. You know, they wanted to come a little bit different with this fight. Um, I have to go back and look at the Alexis Rocha fight and see exactly where where everything went wrong for him in that fight to see if there's any real improvement since then. But you know what? I give Blair a lot of credit. This is why I give him credit, not just for winning the fight, but he was disciplined. He came prepared. The game plan was working for him, and he continued to stay on point, all right? He just, he was on point. Whatever was working for him, he stuck to it. There was a couple scares in it for him on his end because there was a point where Hooker, maybe around the third, fourth round, Hooker starting to get a little groove. You know, he looked rusty, but he started to be a little bit more aware, and he started to improve, but he was still being out box, in my opinion, Blair was always landing the more cleaner, more effective shots, in my opinion. He was more consistent throughout the fight. He moved better. All right, He was quicker hands, quicker feet, better timing, better counters, landing the bigger, flusher, cleaner shots between the two. Had the better in the exchanges, even in the first knockdown. Just him stepping in and just, just surprising Hooker. You know, Hooker was just too relaxed in there. He wasn't really mentally there, you know, even going into the corner, listening to instructions. He just didn't seem like he was there, you know, he didn't look like it was right. And even though he had he's the former champion, he's more experienced, even with all of that, he seemed like he got schooled tonight. He was schooled tonight. It is what it is, you know, and um, Blair, like I said, for the most part. It was just, he was just ambushing the uh, more experienced Maurice Hooker, all right? The one thing about Hooker, he stands straight up. There's no, he's hardly fainted in that fight. Most rounds, he wasn't no feints. There's no change in levels. There's no attacks to the body from the outside. He's barely jabbing. You know, a guy that's that tall and that long. You would expect him to know how to control distance. He doesn't. His feet was too slow. All right. He was just too flat footed. And the more athletic Blair Cobbs took full advantage of that throughout the entire fight. And he didn't change code. He stayed on point 
throughout the entire fight. You know, I mean, he took some good shots, all right? There was some headbutts in there that caused him cut. He did take some right hands from Maurice Hooker that did hurt him. But whenever he was hurt, Maurice Hooker just didn't follow up with anything. Would never drop Blair Cobbs. Blair came out fast, dropped him early, dropped him again a couple more times in the second round. And then he went on to school him for the remaining of the fight. And Maurice didn't have nothing for him because it became about Maurice just following him around in the ring. He was just following Blair around. And Blair was just setting traps. I said on Twitter, I was doing commentary on Twitter because I wasn't home. And as I was tweeting about the fight, I said, this fight reminds me of uh, Quintana against Paul Williams 1. The first fight, you had the much taller Paul Williams, the longer Paul Williams that was just getting caught. That was just following Carlos Quintana around the, wing, around the ring over and over again. And Carlos was finding ways to just ambush him at times to get under that, that, that lead hand and, and club him over the hand with some overhand rights and just staying on the move. You know what I'm saying? He did that fight, this fight, while I'm watching it, Blair was doing the same thing against a taller, bigger fighter. All right, it's getting underneath of those shots and using his athleticism to counter and get out of danger. All right, he got caught a couple times in a couple of those exchanges. He did get clubbed in the head a few times, but for the most part, he did take the power and he continued. He recovered, you know, he regrouped, he rec recovered and went right back to the plan. Move, move, move and look for opportunities to counter Hooker and ambush him at times with the combinations on the inside. Hooker did a terrible job in controlling the distance. He did a terrible job and didn't faint using his jab. Um, no change in levels, no direction, just flat foot, slow feet. And he just didn't know how to use his reach and, and just jab. He, he did nothing. He really wasn't doing anything. But one thing I noticed is that Hooker was there to get hit with everything that Blair threw at him. Reflexes, reflexes was not on point. He just wasn't sharp at all. And he looked rusty. He looked mentally. He didn't look confident. All right. Um, there was a period, like I said, that he did gain a little bit of confidence, but it just wasn't enough because whatever confidence he gained, Blair would just strip it away once he landed a couple big shots and stunned him. Now, my, remind you, Blair got rocked a few times in this fight. We know that Hooker went down a few times in this fight, but Hooker still got hurt throughout the fight because Blair landed some big shots. So Hooker really needs to regroup. You know, and I know he's been working with Bo Mack. I know he's working with Bud. Um, you know, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not, I'm not the type to sit here and tell people what they need to do. But he needs to have a change because whatever is going on, maybe the chemistry is not working out right. Because you are amongst really good people, real good people, you know, and if it's not working for you, it's not working for you, you know, because I can see in the corner, he's just not there. He's just not there. He's not focused. Maybe it's a him thing. I'm not blaming anybody. I don't know who to blame in this, but something needs to change. If you can, if you, if you can be this experienced, I mean, I've been watching Hooker for a long time. If you can be this experienced and a former champion and look that bad, it's time for some some kind of change, brother. This is this isn't working. You know, I don't know what they're looking like. You know, coming in three pounds overweight like that. And Blair is coming off of a loss himself. He was knocked out in his last fight. In his first real challenge, he got knocked out. So for him to come back in the same year, right, and look that good against you, son needs to change, man. Something's going on, man. You know, you don't want to start becoming that gatekeeper, all right? Um. So anyway, that's my views on the fight, man. I'm definitely going to talk more about it tomorrow. Um, and, and, and before I get out of here, please hit that like button. Hit that thumbs up for me on your way out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.